The first thing we'll want to do with this model is flip the normals. If you zoom in, some of the parts look like they are transparent. If you were to select one and run the DIR command, the white arrows are the normal direction of the mesh faces, and uh, they are pointed inward. So the first thing I would do is select everything here and run the flip command and flip all the normals so they're pointing outward. Next, let's select just the back and use the isolate command. So we're just looking at that and then ZS and enter to zoom into it. You can see the mesh edges and they aren't a clean quad layout. They're more like a low poly uh, representation of the form, but there are still edges that we could select for an unwrap. So I'm going to do this in shaded mode. I'll select the mesh, go into properties, texture mapping, and run unwrap. I'll accept that it's going to be mapping channel one, and for the seams, I'll just walk my way down along here. I'll use a symmetry tip, vertical, like that, and then enter to finish the unwrap, and then open up the UV editor. And then let's straighten the edges here, this and this, and then you zoom in and you can double click. At this point, we can get those chain selections, and then we'll do the same thing for this one. And now we've got our two pieces like this. We can use the rendered mode at this point and then go into the texture itself and change the repeat value. So maybe something like seven by seven. There we go. And we could take these and if you wanted to, you could see what it's going to look like that way, but I think the long grain should be that way for, for this. And we can close the UV editor window there. And there you go. We'll do show and bring back the rest of the model. You'll have to unwrap these other pieces, but you can mirror them across in some cases. And that's how I would unwrap a random mesh. Thanks for watching.